afternoon. My name is Jeff Delrosa. I'm with Chromax by Mill. We're in a unique situation today. We have a Dodge Ram with a 5.7 Hemi engine in it. You guys know exhaust manifolds are real common. They break bolts in here, etc., etc., etc. Successful welding mount, drilling mount, whatever it takes, get them out, get it fixed. We all do that. But this one's a little different. This one has either something in there. There's a remnant left in there. This particular truck, you can see, and I'll show you some pictures of the cylinder in a moment. Somebody attempted to drill and drilled off center and drilled into the head and a number of different attempts to try to remove whatever's in there, whether it's a broken tap, an extractor, or maybe even a drill bit. A lot of stuff in there, but you can see the hole is much, much larger than eight millimeter. So today what we're gonna do is gonna drill through whatever's in there. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and put an insert in it, but it's gonna be a solid insert, much bigger, much larger, than what you see in a helicoil and certainly much stronger to repair this to factory new. All right, so what we have is we have our, our propate. This is the Allen, it's installed. It's all bolted up, so we're ready to go ahead. I'm gonna use my platinum tooling bit because Dodge tip traditionally are much, much harder. Engine temperature's a lot harder on there, it's a lot hotter, so they uh, tend to produce harder studs. Okay, so what we have now is we're able to use our end mill, our PPM 188. And what we did is we went through that stud that was damaged and the previous attempt to repair it where the gentleman and whoever drilled through it slipped off the center and then partially to the side of the head. So using the end mill, we were able to machine it carefully, machine down. And you can see, barely see, this is a fragment. This is the end of the stud. So now that's broke loose, it's fallen off. You'd have never been able to get dinner with a welder or anything else. This is the only way we could have gone to get to remove that versus pulling a cylinder head. We're in great shape now. Now the next step is we're going to take our next bushing, which is our 345, with a 345 drill, and we're going to go ahead and machine it. And then we're going to go ahead from that point and use our tap. Can't go any farther. It's done. It's done. Okay, as you can see, we're using our um, PBT uh, 345 tap. This follows the drill bit we just used, and uh, you can see very, very uh, clean, easy to cut because they're uh, machine shop quality. I'm gonna run it all the way out. Good. Look how I cut them threads. Okay, so Chuck's now putting in the insert in, and uh, you can see, how's that going in, Chuck? Easy, easy, easy. So he's going right up to flat, and we're good. Okay, you can see that uh, Chuck is finished here now. The insert's in, and you can see how nicely that looks. Uh, we did put a drop of Loctite. We'll let that uh, cure overnight, and then you can put the manifold back on. But a real nice, clean job. Uh, what would have been a, an absolute disaster, a cylinder head removal, uh, machine shop tap, etc. But uh, Chuck was able to get it out right on the truck. All right, so what we have now is Chuck was successful. He was able to tap it. You saw the steps. You saw the tapping and how easy it was. You heard him say how easy the tap cut. Um, we tapped it down, cleaned all the re uh, remnant out of it, blew it out. Um, you can see what happened. We've got it done. The insert's in, one drop of Loctite, and we're going to let it cure overnight. So we're done. Great, great job Chuck did. That was an alternative to pulling a cylinder head, sending a machine shop, and not just cylinder. You can pull it in, take everything else to get to it, right? Put it all back on. So. A tremendous amount of time saved from a previous botched job. Chuck was a hero and he got it done. Thanks so much for watching. Check more out at our website at promaxtool.com.